Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show we'll be looking at this board. What is this board? Well, it's a board that we can use to monitor and look at signals on an Apple II, 2, 2 Plus and 2E. So let's peek inside and poke around. <laughs> So what is a signal board? This uh, board here allows you to easily monitor signals on your 2 Plus, your 2, 2 Plus, 2E, and even an Apple III, because um, the Apple III slot is very similar to the uh, 2E, 2 Plus computers, but I've designed it specifically for using it on uh, 2E repairs that I've been doing, but um, the slots are the same, so they it should work no problem. Now, uh, what does this board have on it? Well, it has, uh, let's do a better view okay so what the board has it has LED indications and meters here on the bottom now the LEDs uh, these are these are additional signals so for example we have uh, IRQ NMI uh, the select uh, signal DMA um, and we have address buses here and we have the data line buses here the data line uh, here and this will uh, uh, turn on and off depending on the signal that's going. Um, the other thing that this has, it also has uh, points beside each LED that allows you then to hook up your oscilloscope to this board uh, to see this signal in much more detail. Additionally to that, there's four pads on here for the voltages, so you can take your multimeter and read the plus five, minus uh, five, plus 12 and minus five, and at the same time we have uh, meters here that show the same value now uh, why do we have meters in this here well you don't want to be hooking up your multimeter all the time to take measurements um, you can but the nice thing with having the meters here is that if the voltages are fluctuating you know there's some other problem um, than just your motherboard it could be the power supply it could be a couple other things but uh, this is a basically a, a great way to view what's going on on the computer um, there's additional uh, uh, ground here for if you want to hook up your, your oscilloscope another ground is here um, also here in the legend there's a legend here I'm not sure if it's coming up let's see if it's coming up uh here it, it shows you the clock signals and what they should be for monitoring. Now, how does this plug in? Well, uh, for, first thing is you have to plug in this card. This is a small card that plugs into the slot of your computer. I call it the lift card. And what this is, is plugs right into the slot. It's got indication for the front and the back, meaning to the back of the case and the front where the keyboard is. Uh, it's a very simple board. Uh, this is uh, the newer version of this board, which will come out very soon. Uh, does not have the LEDs or the capacitor. These are things that are not required. But anyways, uh, this lits into the slot of the computer. Um, and the ribbon cable, um, this is notched, so it's got a uh, indication of which way the ribbon cable goes. Let's switch cameras. You can't see anything, can you? All right. So now we can see, and uh, we can just plug this into there, into the uh, card. And then this side, again, it also has a notch, so we can plug this cable in here because we want to make sure that pin one on here is showing up as pin one on here. Now, the other beautiful, beautiful thing with this, and this would plug into the slot. The other cool thing with this I like is that because of this uh, additional slot here or uh, adapter, is um, you can actually plug in additional cards. So I can plug in my CPM card and plug this into the uh, the 2E for example and while it's running I can have it it's standing up and then from there I can take my logic probe or my oscilloscope um, and and probe uh, what's going on on the car on the front and or the back so that's neat than just having it sitting inside the slot where it's very close to the board and it's very hard to see and and read signals um, now why did I design this is because well you can get a board like this this board is a prototype board for the um, the two Apple II computer and you could put meters and signals on this and then you would just stick it in the computer. Now the problem is that when it's sitting in the computer, how do you let me change the screen so you can see it better. So if it's plugged into the computer, 
How do I get my probes easily when I have other cards that say sitting in there in the front or the back? How can I easily do, uh, monitor that? Well, I could plug into a slot where or remove cards. But then again, it's, everything's kind of on an angle. Uh, it's hard to be harder to read and to see externally is the better option. So that's why I've designed this. So let's uh, get the uh, two E on the bench, plug this on in, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, now that we have the two E on the bench, now let's uh, it's opened up. Uh, let's uh, plug in everything together and turn things on. First thing to do is connect this uh, ribbon cable. So it's a straight ribbon cable um, to this board. Um, it just plugs in. Uh, there's a notch. So it's showing up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a bit of a there's a notch on there. So the cable is also a little notch, and it goes in one way, um, and that way you're not plugging it in incorrectly. Um, that will go into any slot. I'm going to pick slot seven. Okay, so that's in there, and then the other end. Again, it has a notch, so it only goes in one way. You can't put it in backwards, and that plugs into there. And now we're set to turn things on. So let's turn on 2E and see what happens. And we can see, we can see we are getting signals here. We're getting the plus 12 is 12.3 volts. Uh, the minus 12 is 11, minus 11.8. Um, the minus 5 is uh, minus 5.06 and plus 5 is 4.96. The, um, the minus um, uh, meters do not have the minus sign because it's only a three segment display. And so I just make sure that the labels on top indicate what it is. We also have uh, lights uh, indicating what's going on. And uh, if we hit a key, we can see that the, the address lights are flashing. The data light is flashing too, but you really can't see it because it's going so fast. But if we type in something and we get an error, do you see that? We're getting LEDs flashing. So we know that it's reporting, it's behaving, and I don't know if you just noticed, but the minus 12 signal just, um, there we go, see, 11.7 uh, was 11.8. So if it, that was important to monitor, well, we would know, look, it's, it's gone down. It hasn't gone down a lot, but I'm just as an example, you're getting real-time indication of what's going on with the power supply. Um, and the nice thing, like I said, this is sitting outside of the case. Um, if you have a, a board um, that was sitting, if the board was designed to sit in the case, um, then you'd have a hard time accessing uh, and LEDs, uh, LEDs, uh, pins on the uh, on the chips or components to monitor and manage. This way, um, with this card, we can actually make a little change and do this. So we stick the card on the top slot, and we can then adjust our camera and go from there. So let's uh, do a better view, and we can see the card is now accessible so we can actually let me just turn this a bit there we go i have it on all unscrewed so it's flopping around um we can see now from here we can actually take our logic probes we can take our digital our digital meter out we can actually then you know uh take measurements look how easy this is with the board up and we can even do on the back side we can take our logic probe from our oscilloscope and plug it into monitor signals so um yeah with this plugged in we can we can still see that it's uh up and running it's working so um the next thing i want to show off on the thing on the 2e is that you can uh, run the built-in diagnostics by just unplugging the keyboard and the um and the speaker because it, it gets annoying but you can unplug the speaker and the keyboard and it will do an automatic self test on boot up because it's detecting there's no keyboard and then we can see what's happening on the signal board so let's do that next okay let's get the things plugged in again so we plug in our card i'm going to you can plug this into any slot uh, make sure where it says front it's facing to the front of the computer i like to pick slot seven because there's some additional signals that we can pick up from here and then we plug in our board cable to the board 
like that. Okay, so so just to recap, we've um, I've uh, removed the case, but um, we've also disconnected the keyboard and the uh, the keyboard and the speaker is now disconnected, so we can turn it on and uh, watch it do some work, and then we'll use our multimeter to see if we can get some readings. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll use a oscilloscope to do more readings. So let's turn this on. And as we can see here, let's switch over. We can see it's doing some counting. It's doing some work on the, on the, uh, on the board. The computer is definitely going into a um, diagnostic mode. Uh, I have another video if you want to watch about using the built-in diagnostics on the 2E. Uh, but the cool thing with this is that it's showing that there's some it, there's some activity going on. Uh, we can see the uh, address bus doing work. The data bus is doing work too, but it's flashing so quickly you can barely see it. This is why we need uh, test points with the oscilloscope. All right, so now that I have uh, the multimeter here, um, let's take some reading. So um, let's put this on ground, and then we'll do the plus 5 volts. And we are getting 4.98. And here on the plus 5 volts, we're getting 4.96. Very close. Um, let's do the minus 5. Minus 5 is minus 5.018. And I'm getting a minus 5.03. Um, it's not 100% accurate. This, these meters are not going to be the same as a multimeter. But it's just a great way to get an indication of what's going on you're on the on the power let's check the plus 12 plus 12 I'm seeing 12.6 and on the plus 12 here I'm seeing 12.2 and again now uh, finally on the minus minus 11.72 and I'm getting uh, minus 11.7 so very close um, as you can see we are getting uh, signals uh, we're getting uh, the voltages from the board onto our multimeter again it's not it's not the perfect uh, it's not as good as an expensive uh, or more expensive uh, uh, multimeter, but you know it's it's going to get the job. At, at least we can see that there's uh, close, very very close, and uh, we can watch for fluctuations in the power supply. Um, the next thing let's hook up is the oscilloscope and uh, see what that shows. All right, now we have uh, things set up so that I can uh, show you how the the board works with the oscilloscope. I have my uh, camera here on the side, which is pointing to the oscilloscope. We have everything set up the same. I just plugged in the um, ground lead. On, you can either plug it on the top where it says additional ground lead or ground at the bottom here. There's two spots. You can pick whichever is easier for you. And we set this up. So let's turn on the 2E. And as we can see, it's doing its thing. It's still running the diagnostics. Now let's use our logic, our logic pro or scope probe to see what's going on. Let's see what's going on on uh, address one. So I'm going to put the probe right on that point there. There's a point there. And as we can see in the oscilloscope, we are getting a, uh, a, um, a signal coming through. Um, we can go for, let's another one. Let's say um, D0. What's going on with D0? Well, we can see there's data going on in there. Um, these are, for example, the um, the device select is going to be high because it's an active low. Uh, same thing with um, IRQ. Um, again, that's you know that's good. So we are we can as you can see we can get signals from this. Um, and you know let's go back to for example A10, and A10 is also showing. Um, a measurement and as we see we can see at the top here we have additional clock signals so for the it's called 7m it says 7 point uh, 7.17 megahertz frequency we're getting 7.3 that's close enough um, q3 is q3 is on here q3 is showing me one Sorry, uh, 3.0 and it's, uh, sorry, 2.0 and uh, looks good. So the point of this is to show you that, you know, you can use this board to get, you know, closer as opposed to having taken your logic probe and having to um, actually get really close with the uh, chips on the uh, computer um, where you can actually use your, your logic uh, tip, uh, your logic probe to, to uh, 
measure and short out two pins. You can do easily do that by just touching and looking elsewhere and not not getting a uh, uh, a proper signal. So you're touching things. Next thing you know, it's short of two pins and you've done some damage. This way, you can actually do it remotely by pulling the signals off the slot and onto here. Again, all these signals are represented from the slot, so any additional signals that you need to look at uh, on the board would not be represented here, but only what's coming out of the slot. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is the 2E in action with the signal monitoring board. So let's, everything's plugged in, let's turn the 2E back on. I've plugged the keyboard back in and uh, we're just getting now the regular uh, to prompt. Uh, let's write a little basic uh, hello program and uh, see what happens on the board. So it would be pen print note as I'm uh, typing away you can see the LEDs are reacting to the signals being produced so um, let's run this little oops let's run this program and as we can see it is scrolling and uh, running this little uh, test program um, we can see the lights flashing look how fast they're flashing we can see that there's data obviously happening um, on the address lines on the data lines but it's so fast that we actually can't see it um, and if we hit enter or control uh, control reset we can see it also reacting so um, this board is uh, I put together to help me diagnose uh, the Apple II series computer um, I uh, would like to um, uh, make one more change as cosmetic change on this board uh, before it'll be available on my github and it'll probably be available on a vendor uh, stay tuned to the channel for more news on that later on and we'll find out uh, uh, where you can purchase this board if you're interested uh, the um, the thing I like doing with the these kind of uh, uh, things is uh, this board for example is I like to um, uh, build things that I need to do testing and, and working uh, for myself and uh, show it to others and you know let them um, try it out and play with it for themselves. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you did. In the meantime take a look at another video wherever it's going to show up on here on uh, the 2E and the built-in diagnostics. Thank you so much for coming. Take care.